What's up, chatters? What's up, chatters? It's your girl, Kathy Chit Chat. I missed you. I hope you missed me too. Shout out to those that have shown me um, public genuine love and support. I really appreciate and respect that. You know who you are, you know. But we've made it. We have made it. We have made it. And I think I'm hoping relentless optimism that this is over with the wrapping up of Brianna's self-produced web series. One thing too, one thing that we had to study in our curriculum years ago is like serial killers. And there was a killer by the name of the Green River Killer. <clears throat> and this is when lie detector tests, they started, they started being dismissed in courts and things of that nature because the results were just inconclusive. But he passed his test and they released him and he went on to commit, um, I think he was charged finally, I think it says 46 counts of murder, but it's estimated to be about 80. But uh, he's one of the people that passed the test because there's so many inconsistencies with those. So there's ways to give false positives. Certain medications that you take can give positives or negatives. If you're really emotional about a situation, it could give a positive. If you're nice to the tester, like there's just so many things with these tests, but I just had to put that out there. So. The web series, self-produced web series has come to the end. And you know what I got from that? I'm saying at this point, it has to be over because anyone who gets out of a relationship, for the most part, you want to move on with your life, right? You want to close that chapter. So it seems like Brianna has set out to do everything that she said she wanted to do. She says, mama, I made it. I did it. So there shouldn't be any more receipts. There shouldn't be any more lives when we are lashing out. There shouldn't be any more sneak disses. You got the digital media magazine cover. I've never heard of that magazine, but hey, you know, um, you got the local news station interviews that was done. You did yourself pr produced web series. You got your quote unquote big stepper, your best friend, your happy and your love. So with this being said, it should be no more. Right. This is what I'm hoping, because to me, with the ending, it says this should be over. We shouldn't hear anything else about it. So that's what I'm hoping for, because at this point, it's crazy. Don't you know, I know two couples that literally got divorced in this time frame, like two, two couples that got divorced. And this is like still going on. So at this point, it should be over by now. And it should just really be done because it's I mean, how long are you going to recycle the same receipts? We're hearing the same audios, the same, the same, the same over and over again. Okay, we get it. You if you want to say that you won, you won. You wanted people to look at him in a negative light and say mean things to him. You got that because people still do it every day to him. So, you know, at this point, you got everything that you wanted for everything that you wanted. You got your new bay. You got your money. You did everything you said you wanted to do. So we really shouldn't hear anything else about it. No more sneak disses, nothing of the sort. It literally should be out of sight, out of mind. You know, that, that that's just logical thinking because this is ridiculous. I don't see how people spend like a video takes me, takes me what, 20 minutes out of a 24 hour day. And I promise you, if you guys knew what my days look like, oh my goodness, I don't see how people can do this like every two, three hours, you're at it again. And let me do this. And let me say this. It's like, okay, we get it. I still, my stance is the same. I don't think this was a relationship that consisted of like a, a strong domestic violence labeled relationship. I think that this was a toxic ass relationship and two people that should have never got married. I think Brianna has a temper and she showed this plenty of times on her lives. I don't think this is a timid woman by far. She knucks and she bucks. I think they've had plenty of altercations, some of which, in my opinion, she probably initiated because she's shown to the world on her own page that she does have a temper and will pop off. So I just think that this is two people that just shouldn't have got married. I also think this is why we should introduce our mates to our family. They should get to know our family, our brothers and sisters. We should know their backgrounds. We should know if there's any pedophiles in their family, like all of this stuff, because sometimes they can see like our family can see things that we can't. And granted, we don't base our decisions, our love decisions on the opinions of others, but it does help for your family to meet the people that you're going to wed or be with or 
you know ultimately have around the kids because it helps and it can also help reveal a lot you know one thing that brianna said when she was releasing the doves is she prayed to god that god really sends her a good man now i know plenty of women that have been in domestic violence situations at that time this was still new because keep in mind this was taped months ago she was married then still married now and you know most women that get out of a six-year abusive relationship you're not thinking of someone sending you a new mate because you have a lot to get rid of like for one you need to get rid of the marriage and the last name first you know and then you need to heal because keep in mind this was an abusive relationship right so the last thing you want to do is to hop in another relationship so quickly so it just struck me as odd that you know you would pray that God sends you a man so quickly when this was recorded months ago and even looking and seeing the friend in it I hope that the friend because when you have a large platform and you're monetized you're gonna get money off the view so don't know what's going on with her and her friend or sister or whatever the case may be but I would hope that she's getting some sort of compensation for this because she has been her face has been in a few of these video clips so you know I, I don't know that's just something I would do to make it right with my friend if they're in a series and I'm getting money off of it from the view I would certainly break them off something that's just something that I would do but I don't know what these people eat don't make me shit so I don't really I don't get it I don't know how they move but I know that's personally something I would do on another level I don't know what the cash app is going on and I never talk about minors or children so I won't do that but if you've seen it you've seen it then baby mama number one she's passively aggressively drops her cash app it's just like what are you trying to say are you saying that you're in need of money you can't take care of the kids are you saying now you too want to make money off the situation like what is with this random let me drop my cash app with no explanation and just hope that people give to me like I don't know what that's about like I would feel a way to see a family member doing that like I would pick up the phone and call and say take this down um one person doesn't have it up anymore so maybe Maybe that was the case but um that was just weird to me like why are we just dropping cash apps another thing that's weird to me too like for the most part if you into jewelry the cheap rolex you can get on a scale from anywhere from six thousand to eleven thousand dollars and let's just keep it a buck not everyone is walking around with 11 g's in the bank but if you have that to, to splurge hey god bless you you know to each his own but on the flip side of that i wouldn't floss by buying a rolex one day and then the next day i'm like asking for cash apps like i don't know too many actors that actually go live and ask for cash apps or either say i'll do this if you send me that you know i don't know anyone from any hit show that does that from power to bmf to wu-tang like i don't know i just don't think it's a good look or if it's your clout chasing or cat because there's no way you should be able to afford a rolex but then still need people to donate to you that just doesn't make sense to me that doesn't give successful actor to me and again to each his own everybody got their own opinion so i'm hoping that this can finally be over we've seen all the receipts it's been recycled time and time again and you know based on shorty stands now she's living her best life so it really should be done and over with at this point it just should be done like because what else can i just think it should be done the truth did a lot the other day and he had mentioned what did he say it was something along the lines of like he just regardless of who it is if he feels like it's wrong he's just going to you know speak on it and i felt that one because i'm a gemini <clears throat> and two that's how it should be it, it really should be like we shouldn't hold our opinion just to appease others i've never been one to kiss ass i'm not team anything i'm team no cap team stop the bullshit and team the truth you know one thing that I don't understand why it makes people so angry to the point where they say extremely harsh things to him with the Tupac thing. But I will say, I think it's extremely disrespectful. I had the honor and pleasure of sharing space with the Feeney Secor at a speaking years ago. This woman is amazing. Tupac, this is a man that was brutally murdered. Um, his family members watched him convulse. He had to be resuscitated more than once. He had a collapsed lung. Bullet 
bullets removed his fingers because of the impact he left he lived a very very tragic life and for those that lost someone like i lost my mother at nine i lost a sister I watched my grandmother take her, lo her last breath, you know, like imagine if, you know, this was, let's just say if Latrice, people were doing a skit about Latrice's mother and saying, oh my God, is that Latrice's mom? You know how triggering that would be to someone that lost someone that you watched die, you know? Tupac died, yes, but as we've seen, his sister just accepted his star. Um, outlaws, they're still shout out to Napoleon, shout out to East Orange, New Jersey, if you know the history of Tupac and Outlaws and Newark and, and all of that, you know. So I said that to say it just comes to a point where it's like, okay, I get it, but it's not enough to really like attack him and say harsh things but i do think it's disrespectful because tupac is deceased so even doing a skit with someone walking saying oh my gosh it's tupac it's just so disrespectful to someone that we lost brutally tragically and his family is still alive to this day they didn't die he did so um that's just my personal opinion it's also my personal opinion just like let's just say if someone has a reputation of being an alcoholic every time that person picks up a drink people are going to be trying to take pictures and give the side eye and say aha i told you told you they were an alcoholic right now the truth is on the the come up and i'm hoping with this pr and publicist team they really help change the narrative because with old girl i'm um, not going to mention her name either i just don't get into that but you know there was a party that was very vocal about not wanting to take a picture and in return he posted the picture with this person being a gemini I, the truth is no fool like you can't even i think he's very very smart he's calculated and he's a gemini so i get it no fan sent that you know it's proving a point but when people are when you're under a microscope such as this like you don't want to make a move such as that especially if you're attached to anything having to do with being aggressive or hostile with women because that was like an invasion of space and that's just something you know as a man he probably doesn't get or you know won't see it as being that deep but when it comes to domestic violence situations you're always going to be under a microscope people are always going to be looking to see how you interact with women how you treat them and stuff like that could be really costly we've seen it so many times without like cuba gooding jr for example we've just seen him he had this situation with this woman accused him of an assault in a bar a couple years back we haven't heard from him since and he just settled recently out of court jonathan majors that was in the made like on the ultimate come up ultimate come up just did a marvel movie i did a, uh that i put that in my series as well if you don't know the jonathan major stories like he was on his way boom shorty said you know he hit her in the cab and now we don't hear from him no more and this i mean he was on the on the really about to be a multi-millionaire like so these types of allegations you got to move differently and I'm hoping that a woman publicist, you know, will help him do that because I don't think this is this abusive monster that, you know, was out here swelling heads. That, that's just, I, I just don't believe that, you know, but do I believe that this was a toxic relationship and two people that now should be able to move on and find the love that they deserve, whatever that may be, um, you know, have at it. I think all things, everything that's in the dark eventually will come to light. And if someone isn't meant for you, and that'll be shown too because oftentimes when we meet somebody we don't meet them we meet their representative you got to put about a year in before you start to see the true layers behind who a motherfucker is me personally on another note if i'm happy and if my man had a big dick and if he dicking me down i'm not telling social media that why because there's always a wetter bitch out here it's always a better bitch and there's always a bitch that's gonna be able to make a traditional after African dish with some fufu you know what i'm saying nowadays there's so many women that don't care if someone is involved they'll do whatever so certain things i would just keep to myself and not be putting out there because there's always somebody that's willing able to take the spot so to each his own I would remain slow if the truth is practicing celibacy i think that is amazing because guess what you're clearing yourself of that energy and 
hey, it is what it is. You know, I personally, I think that he is going to move real slow when it comes to his next connection. And I think when it comes to relationships like this, that's the best bet to move slow, not jump into something so quickly because we've already seen what that can do. So in the meantime, in between time, y'all stay chatting.